Hello guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new to my videos, hit like and subscribe to Frodi TV and follow me on The Boy Who Blends on Instagram. So recently I have published some really amazing videos and I've noticed that in each and every one I give new specs about the Optimum G2.6. Well, now I have realized that Optimum appliances have a lot to talk about, being one of the most trusted kitchen appliances around the world. The G2.6 is capable of merging a lot of kitchen equipment into just one appliance. So for today I'm heading towards my nationality. I'll be preparing some delicious falafel burgers with the tahini sauce. To start with the falafels, I have soaked 2 cups of chickpeas and 2 cups of fava beans overnight. In addition, we need half of a large onion, 3 cloves of garlic, a small bunch of fresh cilantro, some salt, a teaspoon of 7 spices, 1 tablespoon of cumin, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, with a quarter of a cup of water. We've obtained the best texture now, let's put that aside in a bowl for it to settle down and meanwhile we can prepare the tahini sauce. For the tahini sauce, usually you can buy it ready from supermarkets. But who needs ready tahini when you have a beast in your kitchen that can actually create your homemade tahini sauce in just minutes? Just add 400 grams of roasted sesame seeds into your G2.6 and hit the grind button. You may actually add more time to the blender to get the oil out of the sesame. In just a touch of a button, we have prepared the tahini. Now for the sauce, add some squeezed lemons, a little bit of water, one garlic clove, and a tablespoon of cumin, and salt. Et voila! This is the typical mouth-watering Lebanese tarator sauce.
Thanks to the best blender of 2021, the Vortex Blender from Fruity. Today we prepared some yummy falafel burgers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on The Boy Who Blends on Instagram. See you real soon.